Yo, what's good, y'all, man? We got Marvel's Phase Five, Marvel Studio Phase Five announcement reveal. All rumors uh, reveal on SDCC. You know, Comic Con coming out next next week. Next, 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 next week, you feel me, man? And it's gonna be a side by side. Next week gonna be lit, man. For you know, people that doing content and all that other stuff, man. It's gonna be lit. It's gonna be lit, man. It's gonna be a lot of trailers coming out, a lot of link shit. You feel me? You know, I love a lot of link shit. You feel me, man? So. Yeah, and we got then we got D twenty, you know, come September. So, but hey, next week, I better be ready though, cause it's gonna be a bunch of kind. Ain't gonna be this nothing, but ain't gonna be this Marvels. It's gonna be DC and other films too. So, hey, I'm not just saying like I'm gonna do Marvels too, but y'all gonna see some DC shit <laughs> and then some other shit too. You know, so y'all on my channel, my channel is everything. You know what I mean, type shit. But we got some rumors though, man. So hey, let's check out the rumors. Let's see what's going on. But hey. Marvel says it's gonna be a lot, and I'm already knowing them. But you know what I'm saying? And I'm excited for that that Wakanda for everything. You know, Black Panther movie coming out, you know what I'm saying, a couple months. But um, I'm excited for that, you know, for that trailer or TV trailer, you know, how they, you know, they wanna do it and type shit. But yeah, I'm excited for that though. But, hey, like it up, sir, y'all, and um, yeah, let's get it. What's going on guys? Welcome to Everything Always. My name's Michael Roman, AKA All Fires. Now to kick off the week, we did a full unofficial but comprehensive guide of what's to come from Marvel Studios this upcoming weekend at San Diego Comic-Con 2022. The uh, whens, the wheres, when the panels are, what you can expect to see, and the official descriptions from Marvel Studios themselves. And if you're looking for that kind of thing, I'll make sure to link that video at the end of this. But today we are covering something very different, a full rumored list for the announcements to come from Marvel Studios is not only the upcoming San Diego Comic-Con, but the following D23 two months later. And while I'm going to do a little debunking during this video, other industry insiders doing the same, we're going to read through the list in full because If True has some really crazy details about what's to come for Marvel Phase 5. We'll issue the normal spoiler warning, annotate it when we can, and of course debunk what we can as well. We're breaking down the full list of new rumors. Hey, let's see them. Hey, let's see the list. Let's see the list, man. For the upcoming announcements for Marvel Phase 5, list, but first, Let's if you it. could grab the subscribe button, we do daily Marvel content at the channel, that's all we do, everything from official Easter egg breakdowns, trailers and reviews, to the occasional industry insider report and everything in between. So, if that sort of thing's for you, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment down below, that will automatically enter you to win our ongoing PS5 giveaway if you want, stick around to the end of the video, we'll get into all the giveaway stuff again there. Okay, so the standard issue, remember to take everything that doesn't come from Marvel Studios with a grain of salt. Always do, man, always do. No salt. Cap. Although this like, yeah, you can fool me though. Hey, I always do though. Like, it sounds good. It sounds good. It sounds great, man. My ears and shit. But I always do though. I ain't gonna always. From Taylor Grant, so I always do no cap. This has been reported on in several places as news in the last couple of days. It actually originates from one of the Marvel Studio subreddits, and apparently, as some of the community members noted here at the channel, might have not even passed its first verification process to get posted. Either way, here's the original list of what's rumored to be presented at both 2022 SDCC and D23, starting with San Diego Comic Con this coming Saturday. Deadpool. Ryan Reynolds will be in attendance to announce the next Deadpool movie, which is entitled Deadpool 3. Director Sean Levy will send in a video. Black Panther Wakanda Forever. Ryan Coogler, Tanakh Huerta, and Dominic Thorne will be present and bring the first trailer for Black Panther Wakanda Forever. Mm. Side note here, I also confirmed this already at the channel last week. Yeah, if I was saying, like, everybody know about this one. Because he, you know, he confirmed it. You know, you know we are already witnessed it, too. You know, I, I did reaction to the video type shit. But yeah, Black Panther, you know, of course, they're coming out next week. The trailer or teacher trailer, you feel me, man? And I can't wait for it, you know what I'm saying? You know, so we can see some, you feel me? You know, some type of idea what's going on in the movie type shit. So, because it's, it's, I'm, you know, I'm hearing there's a lot of shit going on. You got Ironheart, you got um, North Namor, you got the, you know, the, the water, I, you got everything in that motherfucking movie. So, I, you know, I just want to see the little, little, you know, little summer song. You know what I mean? I want to see the little, little, little summer song, but yeah, though, man. <laughs> and also mentioned that we'll be able to see the trailer publicly as released on YouTube immediately following the con, so no worries about that. Secret Invasion? Yeah, because the Marvels know, hey, we're going to link shit out. <laughs> yeah, type shit. Yeah, <laughs> you feel me? They don't post shit, they link shit out. You know what I mean? I don't, it don't be Marvel, there'll be people that'll be in the, the event. So that's what I'm saying. No one will be in attendance for Secret Invasion, but they will reveal the main cast and share some footage. 
The reason that no one would be in attendance and this would seem correct is because they're doing reshoots right now. Blade, Mahershala Ali, Kit Harrington, Aaron Pierre, Milan Ray, and Bassam Tariq will all be in attendance for some news. One big piece of news is that Anthony Starr will play Dracula. Quick side note, someone immediately came out and debunked this, saying that Anthony Starr, the recent star on The Boys, will actually be filming The Boys Season 4 at the same time that Blade is filming to sort of debunk. Yeah, I saw that. I heard about this shit. I heard about that shit, too. So it's like, how they gonna do it? I mean, it, well, I don't know it's true or not, so... Because I know... Because I was saying, just like, um... They were trying to, um... Just like they, they um... Put out there, um... That, um... That character from Black Panther, you know, from Nope. I've got his name and shit. I know his name, but, you know... It, you know, it ain't my head right now. Type shit. But, yeah, he said he ain't gonna be on, um... Um, you know, Wakanda Forever, you know, Black Panther movie. And I kind of figured that because they both come out the same year. <laughs> so it's like, that's why, I was like, that's why he, you know what I'm saying? He would do it if the schedule was right, but too much shit going on. So, if I, you know, he didn't do that movie. But he didn't know, of course. Yeah, you know, if y'all about to see Nope, I'll go check that out. It ain't out yet, but yeah, I'll go check that out. This one small detail included here. The Marvels. Brie, Amon, and Tiana will be there when they show their footage. Zah Ashton will not be present due to, oh, yeah, I know this shit real. Due to her pregnancy. <laughs> Anson Mount will reprise his role as Black Bolt. Jody Turner Smith will join as Medusa in the post credits of the movie, one, but, setting up the oh, Universal the and Humans as a big cosmic story going forward. forward. Now, I don't know where in the world that went from just saying what they're announcing to giving us a post credit scene for a film that was recently filmed. That seems to be quite the jump there. But what I will mention is... <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what I said. Like, they just say millions, now they say inhumans. In, in so. That real recently trusted industry insider uh, Charles Murphy over at Murphy's Multiverse, one we've reported on many times here at the channel, seems to support this in an article posted just three days ago under the headline, What the Miss Marvel Finale Reveal Means for Inhumans in the MCU. It's a great read. I'll leave a link to the original article in the description. He goes on to say, though, that, quote, they could rectify both those mistakes with an Inhumans Disney Plus series that establishes a truer history of both and introduces the Inhuman royal family hidden away on the moon. Rumors persist that the Universal Inhumans, that's right, Anson Mount is Black Bolt, are said to make an appearance in the Marvels. And if those rumors are true and Feige is introducing them to the MCU, the royal family should not be far behind. And again, this is coming from a trusted industry insider. It doesn't confirm the rumor list to be true. It just supports yeah. that one small detail. The next mm -hmm. on the list is World War Hulk, originally planned to be a movie. Now, now we heard about this way a few months back, but you know, we that's all we heard, the title of that. That was it. <laughs> You've been now turned into a four part Disney Plus series and maybe the big crossover Avengers event before Secret Wars. Guardians of the Galaxy 3, majority of the cast will be in attendance and they will show some footage. Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumanium, we will see some footage and actors Rudd, Lily, and Newton will be present. Jonathan Majors will send in a video as Kang. Wonder Man, they will announce Henry Golding as Simon Williams. An interesting detail is that Evan Peters is returning as Ralph Boner, but may have a new name. Will likely be a side character in the show. And Daredevil, Man Without Fear, will be announced with Charlie Cox starring, but a reboot casting for Elektra. Now, keep in mind, these are rumors, and as I've said, are... Yeah, of course, that's why I'm, that's why I'm just... I'm listening to it. Look, look, look good in my ears, though. But we're going to be, you know, we got to wait to Friday. I think, come on, Friday 23rd, or well, whatever that day is, you know. Pretty three week, times week. this week at the channel, and I'm sure I'll say it a couple of more before this goes live at SDCC. What's going on here is that Marvel Studios only has an hour this time around. We're normally their huge 2019. Oh, uh, it's an hour? For it was an hour type shit or two hours? SDCC presentation was a full two hours long. They only have an hour on stage. and we're Oh, only an hour? So, damn. So, they just come to have this. Squeeze everything, and I was like, I ain't gonna do that shit. Damn, so they, I mean, they, they, so they probably, they, they probably gonna, I know, I mean, I know they're gonna show Black Panther. Now, the other shit, I don't know. <laughs> you tell you shit, I don't know. You can assume Black Panther, She-Hulk will be. I'm saying, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm thinking, like, realistically, I'm thinking, like, Black Panther and She-Hulk. Because those are the only shows, shows and movies coming out this year. Oh, and there's some other ones, too, but, you know, but actually, you know, coming soon, though, so. Yeah, that's all I think of, like, realistically-wise, like, I say Black Panther and she hawk no okay. cap. Presented at at least 10 or 15 minutes a pop, they're going to take up a majority of the panel, at least a third or a half of it. There's no way they're going to power through this entire presentation. What they would have to do in order to do that is only allow for five minutes 
for each of these. And it's indicated in this rumored list that a couple of them are showing footage. They're just isn't enough time in an hour to go ahead and cover the 10 plus projects listed saying, here. Like, yeah, yeah. if this is to include some of the d23 announcement as well it's possible but also as industry insider and collider editor-in-chief Stephen weintraub mentioned so aptly on one of his most recent tweets they keep everything under wraps for these studio presentations hardcore it's one of the most locked no in fact they do it all i mean i have a phone marvel because they keep it Hey, you feel me? Like, like then. You feel me? I don't want nobody to know what the fuck they doing. Only they know. You know what I'm saying? And the people that work for them or people that, you know, do act, you know, act and all that shit, you know. But other than that, yeah. things at Marvel Studios, it's meant to be a big reveal. If it all leaks out beforehand, it's not a big reveal. This is a pretty comparable list of a lot of the projects that have been rumored to be in development and more likely the case than things like World War Hulk Wonder Man or Daredevil projects we've heard nothing about is first looks at projects like Secret Invasion that's already been filming or the upcoming Blade. That's a lot more believable and a lot more reasonable. So as you temper your expectations this week with any other rumors or stuff that may come out over the week, keep in mind there's a lot of projects that are already announced that we haven't seen any first look from and those are going to take precedence over brand new announcements dropping Spider-Man 4, um, X-Men vs Avengers 5, the return of Apocalypse secret wars part nine star wars versus marvel versus dc versus batman <laughs> versus jesus G I, you know what listen if they're ever ambitious enough to make whatever that title was i would buy a ticket to that in fact marvel if you need me to help you write that guys i am all i'm all for it. Uh, that's crazy for it you guys know what i'm talking about because i don't okay quickly let's get into the giveaway stuff before I leave. yeah i ain't not no like real shit i'm looking at them like what the fuck you on? <laughs> but anyway, man, that was rumors though, man. Just take nothing but grain of salt, you know what I'm saying? But let me know what time I'm below, man. He's excited for um the summer, you know, semi con or semi con, what you want to call it, motherfucker. But yeah, you know, let me know y'all excited for next week, you know what I'm saying? For Marvels, DC, you know, now it ain't just Marvels though. DC gonna drop some shit and some other films gonna drop some shit too on that week or, you know, next week type of shit. So hey, let me know y'all excited. Let me know a comment down below. And, um, yeah, like it up, sub, y'all already know. And, um, yeah, alright, peace.